All right, welcome to episode two of the Versa Booth uh, design uh, process or journey or whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, so this is, if you watched episode one, you can see I've done a little bit of work on the design, basically doing away with the the knobs on the outside that would be used as tie downs and uh, uh, per request or suggestion of my uh, a good friend of mine, Wade. Shout out, Wade. Hey. Um, he he had a good suggestion to put basically threaded holes in here so that you can either plug them or put the knobs on them to maybe to I think it's a little more aesthetically pleasing if you have less of those um but also just to give you some some versatility and be able to to put them where you need them and tie them and anchor them at the points which you need them which which you know could be right here on the uh on the little side blocks or whatever you want to call these or in the middle right here or in the center right here. Um, it'll all, that'll all come later. But for right now, I, I went ahead and redesigned the, the shape of the shell so that it's a little more stackable and a little more pleasing to the eye. Um, you can see <clears throat> on the, on the outside, let's see if I can zoom in at a good angle. If you can see right here, on the outside, these are raised, and this is the black part right here is, you know, at least for right now, what I'm thinking is going to be like rubber, you know, so that it uh, keeps it from scuffing and, and it stacks on, you know, stacks on each other really nicely and kind of grips so that it doesn't move around when you're, because that'd be a pain in the ass. If it was just smooth plastic, you could stack them all day, but it would probably slide off. So my my plan is to have some sort of rubber or something to to avoid the slippage and it gives it a nice cool look like a nice cool modern look at least to me anyway so i got these raised ones on the outside and on the opposite side you can see it over here on the inside these are inset so basically the way that they're going to stack is this is going to sit well here i'll just show you they're basically going actually it'd be better if i did one on the top okay maybe not Maybe I'll do this one. So the way that they're going to stack is if this side is on the bottom, you know, this one should be able to stack on top of it, right? Like this. And you can see right here, I, I need to, this is something that I need to change, but this edge right here, it's, it's, it's beveled right here on this side. It needs to bevel on that side also, or have some sort of shape to where it sits in there. Now I'm, I'm going to work on this obviously, but, uh, I just wanted to do a quick update. I haven't been able to work on this as much as I would like to I've just been busy doing other things with the pool business, but you can kind of see where I'm going. So these, these convex or whatever you would call it, convex, um, blocks right here are going to sit in here and, and hopefully stack really nicely. Um, if you can see it from the side, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the angle. You can kind of see these protrude out and these protrude in, or if that's even the right term, I don't know. Um, so there's that. And then I, I wanted to redo the, 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 the blocks to where they stack on each other a little bit more neatly and kind of give it a, I don't know. I mean, it seems like I'm giving up a little bit of, of, open space right here but just for stacking reasons i thought it would be a good idea to to have them inset a little bit um and then obviously i redesigned the uh the the way that the rows that they sit on i should have had a another i should have had the the model the original model so you could see the progress um but i spent a, a good amount of time just kind of redoing this and uh hopefully it, it's hopefully it looks better you know it, it sucks having a good product that looks like shit so um hopefully it can be both uh, i also wanted to get i also wanted to maybe raise this um this pad right here or whatever you want to call it this center piece the only problem with that is you would have to inset the the foam right here you see how this sits flush so you'd have to send inset that just a little bit more or push it a, a tiny bit deeper into the inside of the shell so that this could stack nice nicely this this is going to basically stick out just like this does right here once again just for stacking purposes and and mobility you know being able to to disassemble it and and move it around 
uh, quickly. You know, it'd be a pain in the ass if it was this, uh, you know, cool product, but it's a pain in the ass moving around. You know, once again, the, the thing that we're going for is versatility, mobility, and um, efficiency. And yeah, that's basically all I've been working on. Once again, I need to inset this a little bit or, or figure out a way so that it fits in on this front side. But over, oh, and another thing too, I, I, I did the, it's going to be inset on the, see right here you can see on the bottom of this block right here it's inset at the bottom just like it is on the front side and then on the top it protrudes out so that whenever you stack them on each other as you can see right here you know when they stack on each other this raised I guess lip or whatever you want to call those sits in here and it just gives it a little more uh, stability because it's, you know, instead of just sitting flat on there, it has something to, to grab onto. So anyways, that's where we're at right now. And I am hopefully going to have some more time, uh, very soon to, to really focus on this. Like I want to. So hopefully episode three is going to be leaps and bounds compared to the difference between episode two and one. Thank you.